Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I wanted to give a short demo how you can scan Docker images with uh, Anchor Gripe. Um, scanning Docker images is a very important part of your development um, to make sure that you're using safe and secure containers in your infrastructure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Anchor uh, has provided a Docker image that we can use for our scanning on Docker Hub. So here I headed over to hub.docker.com and we can just simply search for gripe or Anchor gripe. And once we click on here, we will be taken to the repo where the image resides. And here's our Docker pull command if we want to have the latest. If you want to look for a previous uh, version of this image, just go to tags and you can see the different tags that are available. Here I have switched over to my VirtualBox instance of Ubuntu 21.04. Uh, I have logged into a terminal and I have Docker installed. If you do not have Docker installed, um, you can watch one of my previous videos, how to install Docker on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, the same instructions also apply to version 2104. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the uh, gripe container onto our local machine. And I just went ahead and I just wanted to copy the command over, which did not work. So I'll just type it in. And I will... Um, pull a specific version. You can just go with latest if you want. Um, I'll just go with version 0 0.17. I will hit enter. It's pulling the image down. The image in itself is very small. If we take a look, it is only 20 megabytes. So that is a really small image. Uh, now let's take a look at how we can actually use this image to scan a different Docker image for vulnerabilities. Let me go ahead and clear my screen. So in its very simplest form, how we can use now this uh, gripe container to scan another uh, Docker image for vulnerabilities is by simply running it. So we run a Docker run. We run it in interactive mode. We want the container to be removed once our image is done running. We need to tell it what we want to run, which in this case is Anchor Gripe version 0 0.17. And now all we need to do is we'll pass the image in that we want to scan. Let's say we want to scan an Alpine image. All I will pass in here is just Alpine latest, and that's all. And I will hit enter. And what happens now is the Docker container gripe is updating the vulnerability database on automatically. Um, it's parsing the image, it's cataloging the packages, it's scanning the image. And it tells us there was no vulnerabilities that were found which is perfect. Now let's see what actually happened on the back end. Um, meaning you may question, did it actually need to pull the Alpine image? No, it did not. It went out to uh, Docker Hub, extracted all the information that is needed and it's running the scan. And I do not need to have the image that I would like to scan on my local machine for where in this case I ran my scan. Um, as long as you have access to the repository, you can scan any image. Now granted, scanning the Alpine image was very much not spectacular. There was no vulnerabilities. Let's go ahead and scan a new image and let's go ahead and use the Python slim image, which also resides on Docker Hub. And if I change the image to Python Slim, you'll see the vulnerability database is being updated again. 
Um, so you can rest assured there's always the latest vulnerabilities in the database uh, to scan for. Um, it's cataloging the packages, scanning, and here we have our result. I apologize for the pop-up. Um, but here we have the result, and here is the list of vulnerabilities um, that were found, and you get the name, what version is installed, if there is a fix. It gives you the CVE for the vulnerability, and it gives you the severity. And now you have a nice list, and you can work your way through it if you would like, and review all the vulnerabilities, and you can make sure um, if you can accept them, or if they're uh, bad enough that you maybe want to consider using a different image. If you're not familiar with what uh, CVEs are, CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. I suggest Google it up. You can head over to Wikipedia and you can read up on uh, what CVEs are and how they are actually created. Here I'm back in my terminal and now we have scanned our Docker image. We've seen the vulnerabilities, but we still don't have a file that we potentially could work with to maybe automate the process of reviewing of uh, the CVEs and their severity. So uh, how can we go ahead and generate a file that we can use, for example, a JSON file? Um, the grab container uh, or gripe um, allows you to pass in a dash O flag to define the output where you can define the JSON output and then you can pipe it into a file in our Linux system for example. Um, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what other commands there are you can just run the dash H flag do not pass a container name in and you will get the help and we'll see here flags dash O and then we can do the output string so we can go ahead and tell it what we want and it allows JSON, table, cyclondex and template. In our case we will do uh, a JSON format so in order to achieve that let me clear the screen let me go back first we need to remove the interactive mode and then we scan again let's say our python um, slim i forgot to tell it that we want to output json and lastly i want to pipe this into scan.json for example and i'll hit enter because we're not running in interactive mode we do not get an output and see that the vulnerability database is being updated and so forth. So we'll just have to wait a minute until the scan is done. And again, my pop-up. But our scan is done. And if we now just do a cat.scan.json and we'll take a look. Now we actually have a JSON file that we can use and for example, uh, we can write a, or you can write a Python script or any other language that you like to work through this JSON file, extract the information that you want, then generate your own report, an HTML report or something to that extent, or possibly even automate um, the process of saying, yes, I want to use this image or not by evaluating the severities um, and so forth. Well, with that, this is a, was a, just a quick demo how you can easily implement and use um, Gripe to scan your Docker images. And um, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.